Hello everyone, it's Mamma Joy, <laughs> and uh, I never tell you who I am, but I don't know if you can read my shirt or not, but this is what everybody calls me, anyway, and um, today I'm going to make shepherd's pie, and I'm going to do two of them, and I've got me a pan of potatoes over here that I'm cooking, I've peeled five pounds of potatoes and I've got them in there. I don't think you can even see the potatoes, but I'm going to cook those till they're done. I've got cauliflower in this pan and I'm going to cook it till it's done. And then what I'm going to do is ma uh, mash both of them up and I'm going to do two different casseroles. Eric's on a carb diet and I'm gonna do one with uh, mashed cauliflower. That, And do you remember when I did the hamburger the other day and I boiled it? Well, I put it in the freezer till I was able to use it. And uh, I've got it in a skillet thawing out. I'm gonna put some onions in here. And I've also got some beef broth down in the very bottom. So that's what, what I'm doing to get ready to make this uh, shepherd's pie. Also, I've got a can of carrots that I've poured in here. It calls for veg all, and I don't, I wanted to make, make it taste a little more tasty. So I put the carrots in, I've got a can of, of corn that I'm gonna add to that. I've also, <laughs> got a wobbly camera. Also got some uh, green beans and I got the French cut ones because I think they taste better and be, you can season them up better. Then I also have a can of early peas and I will mix all these vegetables together, put a little seasoning on those and then um, I will layer the um, shepherd's pie in a casserole dish two different ones. I'm going to do one, just a small one for Eric and uh, a larger one for the rest of us. And uh, I'm also, it calls for brown gravy, a packet of brown gravy. And I don't really care for that a whole lot. So I'm going to make my own with some beef broth and uh, some seasonings and some Worcestershire sauce and, um, Let's see, uh, cornstarch, I couldn't even think of it. And with cornstarch to thicken it up. And then I will be putting the onions in this meat when it gets thawed out to cook them up. And I'm gonna be putting the gravy in there. And then I will layer this all in the casserole dishes and put them in the oven. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you what all I'm gonna be doing and I have to get this done, I have to get the potatoes done and get them mashed. And when I mash the potatoes, I'm going to put sour cream and cream cheese and butter and a little bit of milk and salt and pepper and some garlic powder and some onion powder in it. And that will be my mashed potatoes. I'm also gonna do that with the cauliflower when I mash it It'll have a little tiny bit of milk and it'll have butter and it'll have uh, garlic salt and onion salt in it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. And um, this is gonna be really good when I get it done. But like I said, I'm gonna make uh, a low carb one. Although these vegetables do have some carbs, but there won't be any potatoes because it'll be the cauliflower. And I know the cauliflower has some carbs and then it'll have the meat. So uh, that's, we hope that one turns out really good too. So I will finish getting the potatoes and the cauliflower cooked, finish getting the meat thawed out, put the onions in there and get that all stirred up and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back. And I've got the potatoes mashed. And I put a fourth a cup of sour cream and about two to three tablespoons of cream cheese. 
and I added probably a half a cup of milk. You can add however much you want so they're not too thick. I added salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I have put them in the bottom of this casserole dish, just like this. And I, I, normally, I was gonna put it in my iron skillet, and that's what I wanted to do. But the iron skillet stays hot so long that I, and if they carry this over to eat, it'll be too hot. So I went ahead and put it in that casserole dish because I can wrap something up around it and keep it from getting as hot. So the next thing we're gonna do, I've added all the vegetables to this bowl, the peas, the carrots, the French green beans, and the corn. So they're all in here. And I'm gonna stir this all up And I'm going to add some garlic powder, onion powder, and some salt and pepper. And I have put a little nature seasoning in it already. I'm just going to put some pepper. onion salt, just enough to give it a good taste, and a little bit of garlic, not salt, pep, powder, a little bit of garlic powder, a tiny bit of salt, and then I'm going to stir this all up real good, and I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go in the oven because I need to use I need to get my uh, potatoes out of my mixing bowl so I can mix up the uh, cauliflower and I'll have to get back to you on that. Now what I'm gonna do is layer this, these vegetables. Oh, I thought somebody came in the door. I'm gonna layer these vegetables around the potatoes. I'm going to get a little measuring cup. And I'm going to I swear, this just does not want to cooperate with me in the least little bit. So, and I've got to save enough of these vegetables to go in uh, the other casserole. And you can put whatever vegetables you like the best. I just, the veg all had potatoes in it and I didn't want to put more potatoes and I didn't want to put any potatoes in Eric, so. I think they're all be enough for him. If not, I will open up some more. I've got more cans. It's not like I don't have any, because I do. And now the next thing we're supposed to do is put the meat in here. I'm gonna try to get my camera stand to stand up, for goodness sakes. And uh, it just wants to Lean, 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 and slide down. I 
don't actually know if you can see or not. I'm afraid to do, t yep. The more I do, the worse it gets. I'm just gonna have to get a completely different stand because these legs are so wobbly. But anyway, here's the casserole. Now, I've got two cups of beef broth in here. And um, I have some Worcestershire sauce. And I have onion powder and garlic powder. And a little tiny bit of salt and some pepper. Now, I'm going to turn this up so it'll come to a boil. And, uh, huh. There's partly what's wrong with it. The, uh, camera was loose. Okay. Now I'm going to put a fourth a cup of beef broth in here with three tablespoons of cornstarch. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I need a bigger spoon than that, don't I? <laughs> I'm gonna thicken this gravy and I'm gonna Add it to the meat. The meat's over here, all done with the onions. Uh, and this is getting thick. So all <laughs> that's left to do to this casserole dish here is to put the meat on and then put more potatoes on top. So I can use the rest of the potatoes for it because I'm going to do the cauliflower for Eric and I'm not sure, yeah, I believe it's almost there. And this gravy's getting thick and it's much better than those packages of brown gravy. Tastes a whole lot better. And you could use broth that you've had left over from cooking meat that you've maybe kept in your freezer. And uh, okay. To put this over the meat. And I'm going to put all of it in there because this meat goes on Eric too. <clears throat> so I will put all the gravy in here. And if I had used the iron skillet to cook it in or to bake it in, I don't think I'd have had enough room. I've got a bigger one in my cabinet, but uh, I'm still not sure it would be big enough. This looks really yummy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna taste it because I wanna make sure that it's got enough seasoning in it. And like I said, this was that meat that I boiled and made the sandwich out of the other day. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. That is so yummy. Okay. It's going off. Uh-oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Sorry, sorry about all this, but I can only do what I can do, so hope you don't mind too much. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Okay, looks pretty yummy in my book. Looks pretty yummy in my book. So, I turn the burners off and Hang on a minute. <sighs> My shoulder won't stay in place. <laughs> I'm going Wednesday. And hopefully that doctor can tell me something to help me. It's, to me, arthritis don't make your shoulder go out of place, but I'm going to quit complaining. Do we ever quit complaining? We should. But it's hard to do. It's hard to do when you're in pain. I'm going to hop off of here and finish putting the potatoes around on the casserole. Well, no, I think I'll wait. <laughs> because I need to show you this before I put it in the oven. And then uh, I'll come back and show you when I get finished with the other casserole. And then that way, you'll kind of still know what I've done to this one. Okay. I'm going to try to spread this around a little. I 
and you only have to bake this till it's nice and bubbly and everything's heated back up. I thought five pounds of potatoes was gonna be way too much, but I can see that it's not. If you want everything covered. We're almost to get it. Getting close. Getting really close. Okay. That looks really good. And I know the meat was good because I, I tasted it. And the vegetables, I'm sure, will be good. And I know the potatoes are good. So, I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, dokie. That looks really nice. Oh. I don't know if I'll put it in the oven or not. <laughs> pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Oh. oh, please don't let me make a mess. Oh. Okay. It's in there. It is in there. Okay, I'm going to hop back off here and finish uh, doing this other casserole and tell you what I've done with it. See you in a little bit. I'm going to bend down here to say hi. <laughs> I've got my cauliflower mashed. And I'm gonna put half of it in the bottom of this little casserole dish. And I've put some butter in it. And I've put uh, some sour cream. I didn't put any cream cheese in this one. But uh, I could have, but it's just really kind of moist. So now we're gonna put the vegetables in. And what I'm going to do, and I should, I had plenty of these, so I didn't need to worry about not having enough. I'm just going to sprinkle these over the whole uh, container. What I have left, I'll put in a baggie and save for some vegetable soup. Okay, there is that. Now for the meat. Oh. This meat is really good. <laughs> but even though I left something out, and I'm gonna tell you what I left out, was the bouillon cube. I like better than uh, beef bouillon better, but they didn't have any. They had they had it, but it was in different flavors of added stuff added to the beef. And that's not what I wanted. So I just got some little cubes and I had it all opened up and ready to put in the meat. But I didn't put it in there. <laughs> I don't know what I, but that, but the meat, uh, the gravy was good without it. And it wasn't strong or anything. It was just really good. Now, if you guys wanted to, you could put uh, 
sprinkle cheese on top if you wanted to. It's exactly what you could do. Now I'm gonna put more cauliflower on top. This one look, looks like it possibly could boil over. So, yum. You know what would be good on top of this is a little bit of smoked paprika. And I'm out. And anyway, here is the little casserole that's low, lower in carb. It has a few carbs in it, but not a lot. So I'm gonna put this one in the oven and when they get all bubbly, they'll be done. And I'll take a picture of them when I get them out of the oven. Sorry that I can't get my, my camera lined out so you can even see me. But um, I'll, I'll take a picture when I get them out of the oven. Okay. Okay, bye -bye. I am back in the one in the oven with the cauliflower, the low-carb uh, shepherd's pie, is not bubbling yet. But this one was, and I went ahead and took it out of the oven and I'm telling you, it looks really, really yummy. And I can't taste it now, it's just way too hot. But if I can get a piece, I don't think I can get a piece out without. Okay, I think I've been talking to myself. I've got this one out of the oven. I don't know if the other video didn't show it or what. But anyway, I took a little taste out of here and I'm gonna do another one because I tasted it and it was great. We'll get a little meat over here and get down in the corner. Now, I'm gonna go back in here at the table and sit down and blow on this and tell you what I told you when the camera was off. Shepherd's pie is not hard to make, and especially it doesn't take long to bake. And when you get up everything gathered up before uh, you start making it, it's real quick and simple to do. And uh, you can use other vegetables in the place of the ones that I used. And um, I wanted to do mine, like I said, in the iron skillet and I, I really wanted to put crust in the bottom of it because I thought that would be so good but I just wasn't able to do do the crust but I want to taste this so you'll know and if it's not good I won't tell you it is I'll say well I really flubbed up on that but I liked and I tasted the other one you, my camera just wasn't going but um the gravy, since I made it from beef broth and it wasn't just out of that package, that brown gravy package, it was so much better. And the vegetables were better because they weren't in a, in that, I don't know, the veg all, vegetables I thought had, had, they have a little strange taste to them. I don't know what it is. And sometimes regular vegetables in a can don't taste real good, but these, the ones that I picked out tasted really good. The carrots were good. The early peas were good. The corn and the green beans. And like I said, I used French style green beans. 
because they think they done better and they flavor up better. So, this is amazing. It is so, so good. Mm. I wish I had some homemade rolls to go with this, but I didn't make any. Oh my. I promise you, you're gonna like this. It's really, really good. Now, I I will taste the uh, cauliflower one, or I'll let Eric taste it and let him tell you whether it's any good or not, okay? Okay, thank you so much for watching my channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you'll get my notifications when I come on. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, I just wanted to get back on here and tell you a couple of things about the video. I don't think I told you how much hamburger I had used, and it was a, a pound and a half of hamburger that I used for that. And also... <clears throat> When I ate uh, the shepherd's pie for supper, I am not going to do it that way again. I'm going to put the vegetables over the whole entire area of the potatoes. And I'm going to put the meat on the entire area and the top potatoes over all of it. Because if you get a piece that's out of the middle where the meat and the potatoes are, you don't get any of the vegetables. And I like it with the vegetables so much better. So the next time I make it, it's going to be covered completely with, the potatoes will be covered with all the vegetables and all of the meat and then the rest of the potatoes over all of it. It just is so much better that way. And I just wanted to let, let you know about that and how much uh, hamburger I had used. And uh, the beef bouillon that I didn't put in there would have made it a little more flavorful. It was still really, really good. But, um, and if I would do it again, I'm going to get me some better than beef bouillon because I like that so much better than the little cubes. And I think that's all. And I didn't... Um, Eric was here, and I didn't get a video of him tasting the one with the uh, cauliflower in it, but he said it was really good, and he took it home and had it for supper and texted me and said it was really good. So I think he did like it, and it was lower in carbs than what if he would have ate the one with the potatoes in it. So anyway, uh, just those few little notes I wanted to let you know. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.